What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cues draft. We've got another stipulation from Itsy Boy Tom today. Itsy Boy Tom says, choose your own stip. So you think it's going to be, you're like, oh, it's going to be easy. Uh, take whatever you want in the first three picks, pack one. After that, you must choose either A, mono red, can splash what makes sense, lightning helix, etc. Discard dot deck must dis take something that makes him discard, or C, heavy artifacts. And then there's the obvious power exclusion clause. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if we take this, it shouldn't count as one of our first three picks because it doesn't really define the deck, right? It's an exclusion. So it shouldn't, we should still get three picks after this is what I'm thinking. So we're definitely taking the Mox Emerald here. And then I'm hoping that the next three picks are what define the deck. That's what we're going for. Because then if we had, if we, if we accidentally got past three power, we would just be like, well, now I don't know which way direction to go, so... Basalt Monolith, eh? Eidolon. Hmm. I think Burn is the best combo deck in the Vintage Cube. I don't think you're incorrect. It's also very underplayed. I'm going to take Eidolon here. Sulfuric Vortex. I think you guys can see where this is going here. <laughs> oh, God. We have a good time. Time Twister. Nailed it. Just kidding. I don't actually know what to take here now. Not a red card among us. Hmm. Hmm. This is awkward. I was not expecting this. Uh, strip mine, perhaps? Yeah, I guess strip mine's an option. And PNLR seems good. I don't want to take Lightning Helix when there's a red card. Yeah, Thunderball's fine. All right, we're in it. First three hooks, mono red, then go discard. Yeah, I like that. I like it. You know, I'm not sure mana, mana flare is good for burn. Hmm. Burst Lightning or a Johnny? Interesting, interesting. I bet the Aurelia comes back, which makes a Johnny a little more palatable. I'm going to take the Ajani. Plus, if the Lightning Helix comes back, then we're actually just playing red white, which is pretty okay well you said mono red though oh you said but you said but things for yeah you did say uh uh can splash with makes sense lightning helix yeah johnny this is actually a lightning this is a lightning bolt two lightning bolts three lightning bolts infinite lightning bolts incinerator jackal pub i think we want the one drops
Oh, Grim Lava Mancer? Nice. And Lightning Helix. There's the Aureli we're hoping for. Needle Spires one time. Hope that Needle Spires comes back. That'd be gas. Nahiri. Maybe you make the cut, Nahiri. Needle Spires Lightning Helix. Come on. Nope, neither. That's sad. I has a sad. I'm very tempted to donate again and make you choose from the other two and make a new edition. I would not stop you from doing such a thing. Man, neither of the, the Needle Spires and the Lightning Helix didn't come back? That's really rude. Mox Ruby. Oh, that's gas. That's what we want to be. My wife may hate me. <laughs> It'll be our little secret. Wow, Mox Ruby is like the most perfect thing we could have opened. That's such gas. How much are the steps? Like, you can check out my Twitch profile. It's in the link. It's it's down below. I usually charge. I mean, like, I've I've re thirty five is the uh, the requested amount just because it costs ten for me to enter the event, and I probably like. There's a lot of times we don't win anything. And it takes about two hours. So there's a lot of factors, but usually it's just a way to support the stream if you guys want. And if, if that's always too much, I always like to work with people. Um, if you guys want to do something for less, I'm like, I understand. But, you know. Uh, Lightning. Nosecad, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. One damn year. You got it. Oh, no. Come back. Gotta get the child at 4.30. Oh, no. I could have waited till tomorrow had I known. Can't they wait? <laughs> my, my wife is the only reason I haven't done it. Man, does she know that this is my livelihood and this is how I make a living? Oh, Hazaret. Arid Mesa. I bet the Hazaret comes back. That's my guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four cards are coming. No, wait. We're going to take one and seven other people are going to take one. So five cards are coming back. I'm going to take this and hope the Hazaret comes back. And obviously, I hope we open Mox Pearl in the next pack. So I'm going to get the three Mox deck. That'd be cool. Dragosi, welcome back. Thank you so much, buddy. It feels definitely feels like longer than three months, but really appreciate it. I've given away my time zone. <laughs> yes, one step closer. Thanks, Twitch, for messing up my Prime sub. Yeah, I'm like, that doesn't seem like, that doesn't seem correct. Ooh, Fiery Confluence is legit. We did pass, didn't we pass an Incinerate, though? How many two drops are going to pass? It doesn't matter. Fiery Confluence is pretty much game winning. And it deals with artifacts, which could be problematic. Char? Okay. I'll take it. It's the only red card in the pack. I don't really have a choice, but I want to make it seem like I have a choice. Like, we, we could, yeah, we could take any of these other cards. 
Yeah, this is this is literally burn power. It's like six damage. Duretti. Oh, this this pack is kind of poop. I'm gonna take a Danto Vanguard. That guy's kind of aggressive. We're not gonna take our Duretti or um I guess Rakdos' return was the only other red card in that pack. Really? Really? Lebo, love me so I feel pretty. Thank you so much for the second, the two months in a row, man. Really appreciate it. Manamorphose actually fixes our mana in cycles, which is not terrible. Chandra is a decent top end. Hmm. Misha's factory is probably fine. It's not honor or spire bluff or angel, so. Oh, Magma Jet's a nice little perk. That's that's actually great. I'll take a Magma Jet. Smuggler's Copter also pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, Port could have been good. I think I just overlooked it. Lightning Strike coming back would be great. Copter is nutso in my experience. What does that guy even know? What does that guy know? Nothing. Hmm. Sword or experimental frenzy? Nathan, what do you think? You got 20 seconds. Oh, Tom says frenzy. So oh, Nathan says sword up. Ugh. All right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try frenzy here. Oh, the hazard came back. I agree that frenzy is too heavy. That's what I thought too. What are your thoughts on the new Domri? Um, it's all right. It's kind of meh. I love when you call him by my name. Do you, is your name It's Your Boy Tom or is it just Tom? Oh, uh, Mother of Rune's actually playable. All right, cool. Oh, look, the port and the Kithian came back. That's pretty hilarious. I probably just want the one drop. So nothing really great here for red, unfortunately. It is just Tom. I had a feeling. I definitely didn't want the port. I want to go one drop heavy. I also like Mentor here. How dare you call me a doof. You're dead to me. I like Grudge. We already have Fiery Confluence, which does deal with artifacts pretty well. Sort of body and mind. Fire drinker. Say oh, fire blast. We're going to go with fire blast here. Yeah, fire blast is just OP. Zealous conscripts also pretty pretty busted. I bet flame slash comes back. Yeah, we're taking zealous conscripts for sure here. Oh, blight steel colossus, please. No, just kidding. Uh, I think it's actually sacred foundry, and we hope this steam can comes back. Sacred Foundry when we already have an Aaron Mace is pretty good, especially if we're trying to get white one drops on white one drops is what I'm saying here. Oh, Blightsteel? Yeah, let's take this dude. <laughs> oh, man. I really had to commit to it, though, you know? Wait, he knows he doesn't have, like, Through the Breach, right? Like, even if I did, I, I still don't think Through the Breach is good enough with, uh, with Blightsteel. Steel. 
Oh man, look at this fat boy. This is probably better than Chandra if we're going to play 1-6 drop. And we do have two moxes, like, so it's not impossible to think that this guy comes up relatively early. And there's nothing else. I'm not going to take Remorseful or Spear, so. Figure of Destiny? Well, if that's not just perfect. Plateau. Thank you, gas. Gasoline. Abbot of... Oh, Shrine of Burning Rage, for sure. For sure. Oh, this deck looks this looks great. Ancient Grudge for the board? Sounds good. We even have Mox Emerald to splash it off of. Take Fire Drinker Seder. I don't think you're actually better than Jackal Pup, right? Like you're just a better Jackal Pup. They both deal damage to us, except this one we can pump. Sure. You know what? I'll take a Lyra. <laughs> maybe we're in a position to play a Lyra. We can, maybe we're in a position to play a Bloodbraid Elf off of our Mox Ruby. Or Emerald, rather. Alright, bunch of nonsense. We did not see Hellrider. I think this is the deck. <laughs> 14 creatures. Seems good. I thought the splash was white! I don't actually know if we want Strip Mine here. Maybe we do. I mean, it gives us two basically colorless lands, which is not great. 3, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, versus 3, 4, 5, 6. I think that's fine. Eh, maybe go to 7. 12, 7 seems better. Yeah, I just don't think Strip Mine's great here. Like, we have a lot of mana color commitments. Double red, double red, double red, white red, white red. I agree with, the, with them, them being better in mono red with no splash. Isn't Nahiri better than Ajani? Not in our deck, no. A Johnny does a thing where it deals deals them damage. I mean, Nahiri is definitely a boardable card if they have artifacts or enchantments, but... Uh, I'm going to keep this in turn one shrine. Isn't your mom better? Yeah, she's actually really good. Uh, if we can get a white mana and cast mom, it's pretty strong. Huh. 
I mean, they're on a 17 turn clock. 16? Oh yeah, this guy's dead. Wow, they, they named Mox Emerald. That's hilarious. I was hoping we could fire a confluence and be like, oh, deal, destroy this, deal you four, put a counter here. This is four, this is six, this adds one, so it's actually 11 damage here. Like, all three of these combined, uncontested, shh, could win us the game. Cryptic Command Counter Bounce is my guess. Yep, never don't have it. <laughs> my god. Oh lord. Prism, you're welcome. Really appreciate it. Sure. Thirty-five dollars of smoked meats. Nice. Wait, what just happened? Did they just discard a scrubland? Oh, with Jace. All right. I thought they did it with Una, and I was like, "What? Why would you just discard that randomly?" I don't think he's actually giving me smoked meats. I think that's the way he's laundering the money. Wow, necromancy and exhume in the graveyard, but no creatures. Prism, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, this is disheartening. Yep, we're going to actually concede here. Like, they get to recast Time Walk, so they're dealing 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's not including whatever they do on the next two turns, so. Uh, anything we want to bring in here? Not really. We did get a little uh, mana, mana for Klemp there.
One of my dogs is apparently gassy today. You think he'd get used to it, but he gets fartled every time. Fartled every time. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Fashionably late to the party, huh, Kathleen? Fashionably late. Another clock. I'm tempted to take Inferno Titan out and adding Jackal Pup and something else. And we can just have 16 lands. And then we have no six drops. We just have five drops. Hmm. Yeah, pretty sure I have the cards to be mono red. That's obnoxious. I, I think we just don't have enough burn, unfortunately. I mean, it sucks that we miss our land drop again because we have seven. You have seventeen mana sources in our deck. Like, realistically, we shouldn't be missing our our land drops two games in a row. But here we are. Oh my god, come on. Just pick a card. Oh man, they're really tanking here. Nothing. They picked no card. Okay. Good work. Ah, oh, the old upkeep, get a time walk. Time walk. Yeah. 
Yep, go to 15. Huh. All right. Mother of Runes. Oh, they're going to discard something to the Prowler and... Or are they going to cast a spell? Hmm. Yeah, then we're actually dead from the Jace. I mean, we missed two land drops again. Like, it's just kind of the way it goes. Yeah, there's no way we can really come back from this game. We just had to, like, there's nothing we can really do. Mm-hmm. Why not just hope and Sulfur can fire blast? Because they can't. Like we'll die to our own. We'll die to their six power in the air before we die to uh, before dealing them four extra damage wins us the game.
Bounce Vortex. Draw a card. Yep, that's going to do it. All right. That's unfortunate. Like, we just don't have any lands. Like, we literally missed three land drops in a row. So, yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> the deck knows we have 17 mana sources, right? <laughs> like, is that, is this real? Oh, I see. You're just going to one up me as the as the red deck. I got gotcha. you. Aggressive. How about a mox here? That'd be gas. Yeah, I don't feel like Mentor. We could have actually Mentored and then Fire Blasted to get a token. That might be aggressive. I don't know. Okay, you got it. Yeah, I also prefer to say Fire Blast for the opponent, but if we're going to die, then I like using it to not die. Dying is greater than not dying. You got me there, Chief. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm saying, buddy. That's all I'm saying. Also, if they try to kill this with a two mana, two damage, and then we can fire blast the thing and keep it alive, and then we still have not enough mana for confluence, unfortunately, but we'll see. Oh, the Steam can never came back, I realized. That's sad. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, we our guy Prowess guy will die here, but
Yo, what are these colors you play? It must be a sip. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, isn't that a thing? Run away, steam can never come back. See it running on a runway track. I think we actually could have won if we just took the Hellrider damage. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I think they're dead. Well, if they kill Mentor, they're not. But Oh, they just, wow. They just pay one and then lose the game. Seems good. All righty then. Did it. I don't think I like Inferno Titan because we're actually kind of constricted on mana here. I'll take out planes. Do we just board into bigger, scarier deck? Like, does the Lyra just come in? Yeah, I think that seems fine. Uh, the problem is we don't have really have many things to replace the Seder with. I don't hate this hand. I mean, assuming we can hit some lands, we're in good shape. Goblin guide. Never don't have the one drop. Where's our one drops? I got like a million one drops. Yeah, that's pretty good. Play all drafted cards? Oh, God. Yeah, we did lose round one, unfortunately. We got mana screwed. We could not hit more than three lands. We missed three land drops in game two, and game one was not much better. Man, Arid Mesa Plateau. <laughs> oh, boy. So you played your land and then you Abbot of Carol Keep? That seems... Yeah, that seems no good. Oh, no attack.
I'm actually going to keep both of these. Five mana is pretty good. And we have plays all the way up the curve, so. Playing it really next turn. It's not too bad. So no Sacred Foundry. Or I can actually just block the Abbot for one. And then easily Lightning Strike the Hell Rider. So I want to play Aurelia next turn, but we could Lightning Strike if we have to. I don't know if we really have to, though. Just moving the mic a little bit. Sorry, guys, if you can hear that. Nope, because you're a nerd. Wow, that's messed up, dude. Either kill it now and leave an abbot on board when we play Aurelia. I think this is fine. We're trading a Pia for a Hellrider. Gosman, have a good night, buddy. Okay. Does not kill our Aurelia. Yeah, I'll take three. <laughs> So you're going to be a four, right? Yeah, so we got to just do this. Yeah, I like upkeep doing it as well. That's actually pretty good because then we get to have a 3-3. Three, three. Yep, that's a good one. It doesn't get past Aurelia, though. So we just get a 4-4 here, and then we can make an 8-8 eight, eight out of this guy next turn. Seems pretty good. I'm just going to pass here. I'm just gonna like if we attack they just block and then they get to uh get their Phoenix back anyway, so it doesn't really do much. If we prowse on this guy, then they're just gonna take four. Well, and then this is gonna be a two two, so that you can easily block here or just trade. It's even worth it. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Sure.
Like, they know this is an 8-8, right? Four, five, six, seven. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. This is actually like, oh, we have to get rid of this guy though. So it's a fire blast, you right, and then we have five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Then you go to two on your upkeep, but then it doesn't really do much for us. Alternatively, we just attack for eight. You block here. We fire blast your face. That feels like it's got to be correct. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, they're not at 16, so. Oh my god, no blocks is exactly what we wanted. Yep, that'll do. Because now they should take 17 and go to 1, and then they die to their own Sulfuric Vortex. Woo! Woo! I'm sweating. Got him. 2002. Nailed it. Runaway train never coming back. Oh, they're taking damage? They're basically dead. Okay, I really don't want him to back up and not attack here. Okay, good. Idol on our mentor. Kerwit, tell Connor I said what's up. I think it's better to slide the mentor under the under any kind of counter spells, but we did have a red white land, which is crack that fitch. Crack that fitch. Oh, nothing happened. Yikes. Disallowed. 
That's okay. Still taking four. Face fetters on Grimlawomancer. Seems good. They were at 10 and they gained 4? Yikes. Must be allergic to not being a mod. Wow. Wow. Is that how that works? Oh well. So we basically lost we lost Grim Lava Mancer, Monastery Mentor, and Eidolon. They lost Face Fetters, a Balance, and a card in their hand. So, like, technically this is even. Seems good. Oh, boy. Gideon Jura. Yikes. Did we just win here? One, two, three, four, four cast. I mean, you don't have Force of Will. Got him. Balance, huh? Well, that's a thing, I guess. You are so filthy. Francis of the Filth, they call me. Oh boy. Let's take out Inferno Titan. Let's take out a Plains and we'll add a Jackal Pup and a Strip Mine. I'll keep this hand. This hand's good. MVP over here. You got it. I used to have I I used to have that's pretty good and now it's gone. What's crack a lacking? I mean, I have this. Sorry, I, I 
I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. So I mean, I have I have an I dupes on there. Yikes. What do they have rest though? Yeah, I'll just hold this guy back. I mean, they just fiery confluence here. And then they counter it. I'm just gonna pass here. They didn't do anything. Can't activate. Yeah, sure. We'll just use it on your face. I mean, that way you don't gain four and you take three. So, I think they're dead here. They go to eight. Oh, they're just dead. Wow. We go fiery confluence fire blast. Seems good. Wow. All right. <laughs> Red decks, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check check out meundies.com slash franklapore for 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And it's a great way to help the stream out if you guys are interested in doing that. Um, yeah, if you want to su 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 supply, su 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 supply a stipulation, you can check out my Twitch profile or the, uh, the description below and you can figure out how to do that. And uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. I will see you next time.